This is episode number 903 of the Inner Fight Podcast. This week in 5-Minute Mondays, I bring you conversations. This is a conversation. This is a conversation of me with you or me into this mic. It's okay. I've done it 903 times. Actually, right now, I have the camera in front of me as well. If you do watch it on YouTube, thank you so much. Some people actually like to watch stuff as well. And that's interesting considering what I'm going to talk about today. If you think about it, over the last five years, 10 years, 20 years, depending on your age and depending on how deep you think, we actually have stopped talking to people as much as we used to. Certain bits of technology have taken over our life and for a lot of bits of technology, there is for sure a net win. We're now able to have video calls, coaching calls, conference calls with people around the globe, which probably pre-pandemic were a little bit... I remember when there was Skype. Actually, when I first started doing the podcast, we used to use Skype. And if you go back to some of those early shows, the quality is not that great at all. Calls were cutting in. Some of these VoIP, voice over IP protocol, I think that's what it's called, were banned in a number of places, which is actually quite a good thing. But there is a net positive. We're able, especially on a coaching level, I'm able now to coach people around the world, have some great conversations over things like Zoom, although we've now ditched that and we've moved to Teams. Teams got us, Microsoft got us in the end. But the point is that generally we are talking less. We are using different ways to communicate. And you know what? Maybe this is the way that it's supposed to be. I'm not saying that what I'm saying today is exactly the right way. But what I have done is I've thought about how we used to communicate, how it makes us feel, how it makes us respond. And that's how I came to the topic of this show. We should try and talk to each other, but we get lazy. It's easier just to send a message. We sometimes think that we're going to interrupt someone when we call them. I actually put out a thing in my weekly Monday thoughts ramblings really about voicemail. We think we're going to interrupt people so we don't call them, then we start to message them or we send them a voicemail. And we message people in all sorts of different ways. Normally what happens is if you call someone, they don't answer, you send them a WhatsApp, they don't answer, you send them a LinkedIn, they don't answer. It's because they don't want to speak to you. Anyway, there are a number of different ways that we can communicate. And for a lot of things, that's okay. Some things only need to be communicated by email, by text or by a phone call. There's different ways to communicate. However, having a conversation still has a lot of value. One thing that I always remember doing when I started in a fight as my full-time job in 2010 was I had a goal of having basically at least one coffee with someone face-to-face every single day. I found that super, super effective on a number of different levels. I was able to ask questions. I was able to connect with people. I was able to explore different ideas. I was able to get feedback, spend time with people. And that helped me a lot in guiding me on what I was going to do with the business. Back then I was just on my own. I had absolutely no one else working for me. So I was probably a little bit more lonely in the work environment. So it served me in an incredible way. But having those conversations gave me thoughts and ideas, which ultimately I think has paved a really good foundation for what we're doing today. It's different, isn't it? Listening to this podcast or watching it as a video version, yes, you can hear the tone of my voice, but what else can you get? What other senses can you pick up on? There's no touch. There's no smell. There's no real body language. Yes, on the video version, I'm sat in a chair, but all of our senses help us to build a better connection and build better relationships. Of course, we don't always have to have an agenda as well, which is interesting. How about have a conversation with someone and go into it absolutely open-minded? How about going into a conversation and just being ready to listen? Don't prepare to say anything. Don't think too much about the outcome. The outcome itself could be just to spend some good time with another good human being. Maybe it sounds a bit straightforward. Maybe it sounds a little bit old school. Maybe it sounds a little bit, for some people, anxiety inducing. I'm so busy. I've got so much going on. I don't need to sit with people. Well, what have you got going on? What are you so busy doing? And maybe a lot of that, what you've got going on and what you're so busy doing could change perspective a little bit through having a conversation with someone face-to-face, maybe over one coffee, make sure it's a long black. You'll get better results with a double espresso, maybe. We'll go into that in another show. But think about the power of a conversation, the power of being with someone, the power of connection, the power of human to human. I think it's super strong. And hopefully that five minutes that we've just spent together, you might think also that it's worth doing. If you want to have a conversation, a coffee, give me a shout. You might not have it for a few months, might have it tomorrow, but I'm sure either way we'll have a good time. Hopefully you can apply that 
in your life this week. Have a great week. Thanks a lot for listening. I'll catch you next time.